Welcome once again to Musings by Dana. I'm so happy to announce that we've hit 1,000 subscribers. For a while now, to celebrate this milestone, I've been planning on doing a video on my personal favorite deck, Kalia of the Vast. Or as I like to call her, Kalia the Evil. I have a video covering Kalia over on my other channel, Musings by Danan, but that channel is entirely focused on anime and manga right now, so I felt I needed to do the video over here. For those who have seen that video, the cards I've cut from that list are Archangel Abyssin, Laisa Shroud of Dusk, Stranglehold, Damnation, and Out of Time. Before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. I've been very happy with the growth this channel has had so far, and I'm excited to see where we're going. If you're looking for ways to support this channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Kalia is one of the most feared and powerful commanders in existence. She's capable of hanging at a CEDH table. Kalia the Vast is a 4-mana 2-2 legendary human cleric with flying. She also says whenever she attacks, we can put an angel, demon, or dragon from our hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking the same opponent Kalia is attacking. If Kalia only put one specific creature type onto the battlefield, she'd be an amazing commander. But no, she lets us cheat three of the strongest creature archetypes from our hand onto the battlefield. She may be the strongest ramp piece that you can have in the command zone. So what monstrously large creatures do I have in the deck? What stacks pieces am I running? Which cards from recent sets am I excited to add? Before we get to the deck choices, let's keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal. 2 to 3 board wipes two pieces of Graveyard Hate, and one Sudden I Win card. Our entire deck is centered around our commander slamming large creatures for cheap onto the battlefield. We want to have Kalia out as much as possible, so we're running Swiftfoot Boots, Lightning Greaves, Mother of Runes, Giver of Runes, and Teferi's Protection to keep Kalia alive. Silence is also a great piece of interaction, especially at higher power tables but we also have Anguished Unmaking, D-Spark, and Path to Exile as spot removal. For stacks effects, we're running Aven Mind Tensor, Leonin Arbiter, Grand Abolisher, Rule of Law, and Blood Moon. Our board wipes consist of Dam, Wrath of God, and Armageddon. I know, I know, mass land destruction is frowned upon in Commander. But in Kalia, Armageddon is a win con. For the most part, Ramp and Commander comes in three categories. Mana Dorks, Land Ramp, and Mana Rocks. But with Kalia on board, we don't need lands to cast our big creatures, so blowing up our opponent's mana sources quickly closes out the game. The problem with Kalia is that you quickly empty your hand, so you'll want to refill it just as quickly. To accomplish this, we're running Esper Sentinel, Phyrexian Arena, Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Misfortune, and the Immortal Sun. Animate Dead and Corpse Dance serve as Graveyard Recursion, while Vampire Tutor and Demonic Tutor let us search for whatever cards we want. Our Mana Ramp consists of Mana Crypt, Jeweled Lotus, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Dockside Extortionist, The Guild Signets, The Talismans, and Smothering Tithe. For lands, I'm running Command Tower, Bajuka Bog, Herborg Tomb of Yogmoth for Mana Fixing, Savai Trium, Urza Saga, Six Fetches, Shocks, Checks, Bondlands, Innistrad Slowlands, Silent Clearing, Sunbaked Canyon, Rugged Prairie, Graven Cairn, Two Mountains, Four Plains, and Four Swamps. And now on to the meat of our deck. I mentioned card draw being a key part of our strategy, and it is. We need to get Kalia in play, keep her alive, and then draw a bunch more cards. So to do that, we're running Dragon Mage, who is an all-star in this deck. I have won games on the back of that card alone, and if you've got a Kalia deck, Dragon Mage is my number one suggestion. Additionally, we've got Demon Lord Belzenlock, 
Kotha Fed Soul Hoarder, and Villas Broker of Blood for more card advantage. As well as a Rhea Dawnbringer and the new Ancient Brass Dragon for Graveyard Recursion, and a Burning Rune Demon, Rune Scarred Demon, and Razaketh the Foul Blooded for more tutor effects. Our strategy for this deck is to turn creatures sideways and kill our opponents. So to enable that, we've got Ancient Gold Dragon, Archfiend of Despair, Aurelia the War Leader, though we usually cast her instead of using Kalia to cheat her into play, because if we do, we don't get the extra combat phase as she comes into play. Kalia's best friend, Master of Cruelties, and Gisela, Blade of Golden Knight, who is not only great for beatdown, she also provides a lot of protection. Speaking of protection, we're also running Limbala Keeper of Silence, Platinum Angel, and my wife's least favorite card in my deck, Avacyn Angel of Hope. For additional mana ramp, we've got Ancient Copper Dragon. Finally, for game ending effects, we're running World Gorger Dragon, as well as Gisela the Broken Blade with Bruna the Fading Light. I've only ever gotten to merge Brisella Voice of Nightmares twice while playing this deck, and both times, it ended the game. So let's see how our deck compares to our checklist. 51 mana sources split between 37 lands and 14 pieces of ramp. 18 pieces of card advantage, including tutors, card draw, and graveyard recursion. Only three pieces of spot removal, but 11 more pieces of stacks or protections, so that's fine. Three board wipes, two pieces of graveyard hate in Bajuka Bog and Animate Dead, and one sudden I win card in Armageddon. So this deck checks all the boxes and is a lot of fun to play. In fact, it's so much fun to play that I rarely get to play it. I've tried convincing my wife that her Miram deck is on par with my Kalia deck, but she doesn't believe me. I think she just needs to practice more with Miram, but she doesn't like it when I practice with Kalia, so... I already did a video on my other channel on a $100 budget Kalia deck, so I'll just post a link to that deck in the description below. What's your favorite card in Kalia? As far as further upgrades to the deck, I know I should add Angel's Grace, but that card is better at the CDDH tables. And to be honest, I'm not sure what to cut for it. What do you recommend? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my other cute stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. I post new Commander deck videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or you can click here to watch additional videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.